In real time weather now, we're tracking some rain tomorrow in the forecast. Boy, pretty shot out there tonight. Mary Kay, tell us about it. Well, it's going to take some time to get here because we've had this locked air mass in place, this dry air in place. It's locking the heat in place, and that is keeping pollutants close to the surface. So that's why the air quality alert remains in effect through tonight, through the day tomorrow, and through tomorrow night as well, because I expect tomorrow and Saturday temperatures all over again to hit that 90 degree mark, just like we did today. But I think tomorrow could be even warmer. Now, we do change the pattern come Saturday afternoon as showers and storms build into the forecast and some of those could be left over in the form of showers to start Father's Day, but we're hoping that rain just keeps moving out of the picture to at least dry out the second half of the Father's Day forecast. So two hot ones coming. In fact, I'm going with 93 tomorrow, so some areas almost flirting with the mid 90s there. And then on Saturday, it took us to 90 just because I think that rain is going to hold off until the afternoon. But then we start to see the temperatures come down a bit into the middle 80s just because we'll see showers and storms move into the forecast. Right now, though, it is a mild night. Dew point temperatures are in the 50s, so feeling like it's fine out there, even though the temperature is at 77 degrees, it's not incredibly humid, and that's a good thing. And as we go through the night, we may just see some clouds coming in off that system that's trying to move in from Iowa. So I think tomorrow we'll go with 93 for the high temperature, and then on Saturday, bring in that shower and thunderstorm chance. So as we time that out, here's sunset tomorrow night. I think tomorrow's going to be a dry day. We'll just see those clouds try to sneak in late day. And then as we go through the overnight, I think we still stay dry. Here's Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Not seeing much, but by the afternoon, showers and storms widely scattered at 2 o'clock. And then as we go through sunset Saturday night, we're seeing an increase in some of that shower and thunderstorm activity. So Saturday, the rain chance is about 50-50. 20% left over for Father's Day, but look at Monday. We really ramp things up, a 90% chance of rain. So Monday at this point looks quite stormy around parts of town. So Saturday we hit 90 degrees. Summer officially begins at 444 in the afternoon, and we will have those scattered storms in the forecast. And then on Father's Day, tapering it down to about 85 degrees with that 20% chance of a leftover shower. We're hoping a lot of that stays on the morning time frame, but we'll be watching that carefully as you make plans with dad this weekend. Brad, Erica. Sounds good. Thank you, Mary Kay.